Neighbors tell me when the fuss began about the newly erected carport, many didn't even know it was a Patriots player renting the house. This is the carport housing Danny Amendola's car that has everyone talking. Uh, it's ugly. It's, uh, it's very well constructed. I went and banged on it, <laughs> but it doesn't belong in the historic district. Ray Rickman is Amendola's neighbor on College Hill. We're choosing not to show the house Amendola is renting, but Rickman says it was built in the 1700s. So when the carport went up, people were alarmed. They didn't know a patriot was involved. The neighborhood doesn't like it, and I don't like it either. The Associated Press says Amendola applied for permission from the city of Providence to put up the carport so he can get to practice in Foxborough in a snowstorm. Neighbor Dan Powell says that sounds pretty reasonable. Carport's not really the biggest concern for me. Just imagine having 20 of them. Rickman is a former member of the Providence Historic District Commission and says a carport would typically never be approved. He has a feeling after this, it never will again. The regulations have been tightened, so this will never happen. And he still wants to welcome the wide receiver to the neighborhood. This is our first Patriot ever to live in College Hill, as far as I know, and we're happy to have him. I did knock on Amendola's door, hoping to talk with him about the mini controversy, but no one came to the door. By the way, the carport has permission to be up until February. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.